If you're like me and you're done with garbage like this, you're gonna love this video today. I am so excited to make it for you because I've purchased, with my own money, what I heard was the absolute best gas can on the market for both long-term storage and just for safety, for overall ease of use, everything. All of the categories you can think of, this can, gas can checks off. If you're interested in homesteading and DIY projects, I want you to go below, hit that subscribe button and the like button on this video. Stay here on a permanent basis with us. All right, let's talk about this garbage. We all know, we all know, the pain of these modern government mandated garbage gas cans that leak everywhere, that don't do the job that they were designed to do and stop spillage and leaking. It is a pain. These nozzles break, they're difficult to use, and I was sick of it. So what I did over the period of a few years was I used these awesome aftermarket uh, hoses or spouts here, and I'll put a link to these in the description below. They are great. So they also come did you hear that? They also come with a, uh, an air valve here, an air release valve or vapor release valve, whatever you want to call it. They come with that and they easily screw on to any gas can that you have. Every nozzle is pretty much standard, so they screw on and they do a great job and I'm happy about them, but they're still a pain to use. So before I talk about that awesome new gas can, I want to talk about this one. This one's a pretty solid gas can in itself. It is steel. It's a jerry can style of gas can, although it doesn't have the old jerry can style of um, spout here. It's just got this normal, well, I put this extra one on it. It had the garbage government one on there uh, to begin with, but I put this uh, aftermarket easy fill on it. So it doesn't have that, but the construction of it is solid, is solid. If you've seen Wrangler Star's video comparing uh, uh, the Wavian Jerry can versus a cheap $26 one, the Wavian I think was 80, 85, 90, somewhere around there, um, you will see his criteria in the testing that make the Wavian, oh, makes the Wavian way better than the garbage ones. Well, this one is really good, all right? It is fully welded. It, the steel is really thick. I can't move it at all. It's fully welded. It's not tack welded. This weld along the seam is depressed. It's not uh, protruding out. So when you have these two seams together or these two halves of the gas can, this seam is fully welded and comes down around it. It's a really hard solid steel. It's made by Midwest. So I got this at the good old Harbor Freight. And I think I paid Forty dollars for it. So I guess you could say it's middle of the road. I've checked them recently. They're like 55 on Amazon. Let's take a look at the best can. Here it is. It's the Just Right Type 2 AccuFlow Safety Can. So look at this baby. This was $69 and I believe it's going to be worth every penny because I did research it beforehand and I've seen other people try it out. So uh, let's take a closer look at it. And I, it does come with this beautiful uh, steel nozzle here. I'm going to put that on. It's got the gasket in there. It's got screws. So let's put that on first, and then we'll go through all the features of this awesome gas can. So all it's going to take is a Phillips head screwdriver to get this baby all set and together. It's got a beautiful uh, cork gasket on it. So let's talk about what makes this a safety can. There's essentially three features. This really strong uh, top here or lid on the fill portion that snaps back. It does not lock in place. It snaps back really quick. So there's going to be no spillage if you knock it over. So also right in there, inside there, is what looks to be a filter. It can act as that, but it's not. It's a flame arrester. And it helps to mitigate the, the fumes that accumulate in the can itself so there's no flash of uh, if there's a, an ignition source near and that top is going to close down quickly. Additionally, this uh, activation lever here for the gas coming out the end of the, uh, the fill nozzle right here snaps back into place so there's going to be zero spillage because 
the spring pops it back into place. Everything is completely contained and sealed in this thing. Additionally, it is you know, certified with all these uh, ASTM codes and so on and so forth. That's great. Uh, for me as a homeowner, uh, that doesn't mean much as long as it works properly and it's easy to use. So let's go use it. So I'm not going to head out to the gas station as of right now, but I'm going to fill it from another can and that will demonstrate uh, how easy it is to fill up at the pump. Now the pump might be actually a little bit easier because of the solid metal nozzle at the gas pump and this, I'm just going to stick this plastic tube in here and fill in the top. So it'll just lock on whatever nozzle you stick in there, whether it's the gas pump nozzle or you're filling it from another can like this and it's going to kind of keep it in place, which is pretty cool. So what makes this so easy to use is the control of this lever right here for the control of the flow of the gas. Now when you're filling up small engine equipment, that is really important because they have tiny gas tanks, especially this weed trimmer that I'm going to fill up down here. They have tiny gas tanks and you know you always spill it on these because it just fills up so quick. And so I'm excited for the control that this is going to give me. So here's our power washer. You see just the slightest pressure on that handle is giving me perfect control to be able to fill it up and spill zero gasoline. Now comes the big test, the weed whacker. Of course our weed trimmer has this little tiny pint size uh, gas tank on the side and I always spill it every time I fill this thing up. It is ridiculous how much gas I spill. This is probably the piece of equipment where I spill the most gas and I'm really excited to try this to fill up this gas tank. Now the tank is pretty full so this is going to be a good test because I'm going to need to be very careful how much gas I put in there. Look at that, just a few light, little light pressure on that and I can totally control how much gas and it goes in there. It is right full to the top. Now the next test here is on my truck and if you've ever used one of those other gas cans to try and fill up a vehicle, you know it's extremely difficult, especially with those silly nozzles that they sell with the cans at the stores. This one is small enough to fit right in the hole for filling up the gas tank. It is smaller than the normal gas pump nozzle, so you can get it right down in there and it's flexible enough that, perfect. This is probably the easiest can I've ever used, hands down. So the nozzle is nice and long, it's very flexible and obviously those metal flex tubes stay in the position that you want them to stay in. So it's extremely easy to fill up the tank with just a little light pressure from my thumb on this, uh, this valve right here, or a trigger, whatever you want to call it, it's perfect. All right, so the last test for this gas can is the spill test, and I have nothing else that even compares to this. I know because they all spill if you tip them over, but not this one. Completely upside down, keep your finger off the trigger, and uh, no gas is getting out of there at all. It's got a great seal on this portion here in this cap like I said that spring is extremely strong. So this is an amazing can you cannot beat it especially with these so maybe there's some other cans out there that uh, can give it a run for its money um, but I've seen them they're plastic with the Schuer can and uh, there's easy fill maybe I don't remember the names of them but in my opinion it doesn't compare to this why? because this can be used for long-term storage. Plastic just cannot be used for long-term storage. When I'm talking long-term, I mean a couple of years. So this plastic can over here is already split because of the uh, buildup uh, and expansion of the gas and vapor inside because it's heated up. Even though it's been under covered, still heated up, it split the seam. Um, but this one is not going to do that. This one, $32 at any Mart, Walmart, whatever mark, all over the country, you can get it for that price, but it's absolute garbage. It's like 1% of the quality of this, and this one was 70 bucks. Are you kidding me? That is a no-brainer. Pay this all day long for a quality item like this that you can pass down to your grandkids. Now this Midwest one over here is good for long-term storage, although you're gonna have to replace 
uh, the nozzle if you want to do uh, some super long-term storage with it. But the quality of the can, I think, is really, really good. But again, it's, depending on where you get it, I got it a couple of years ago at Harbor Freight for 40 So it may have gone up in price. I see them on Amazon, I think I said at 55 um, So 55 to 70 I mean, for the quality jump that you get, again, this one is going to win hands down. Invest in things that you can pass down to your grandkids because they will last you a long time. This is a simple mechanism here, and it is unbelievably well made. Additionally, in some of these uh, cheaper cans, I don't think the Midwest, I think this is a good quality can, but the interior coating on it uh, may not be the best, or if even if it has any. This one obviously does. This is used by um, oil companies for their rig equipment that runs off of gas. I've seen interviews with guys who have used these, and they've prevented flash fires from, say, out like a hot power washer. So that is really important. This one isn't going to do that for you. This is the can you want. Again, I'll link it down in the description below if you want to go check that out. All right? Now go check out these videos right here if you want to know more and learn more about homesteading, DIY home repair, and gardening. Everything we got going on on our homestead. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.